Hi, and welcome to the first quick tip by Riverside Graphics. Uh, generally, what these videos are going to be are uh, one to two minutes, and they're going to be showing you how to do something that will probably save you time, um, but it's not long enough to do an actual tutorial on. Um, so let me give you an example. Today's is on using paths and text together. So head on over and grab your pen tool. Make sure that you have the paths uh, box selected, and then you can just drag out a curve. We'll just make something simple here. And, whoops, there we go. And we want to grab the text tool now and run your cursor. Well, first let's change the text color to black, which is all zeros. Click OK, and then run your cursor over the path until your cursor changes. You'll see it turns to a little squiggly when you get over it. And then click. Now you can actually type on this path. So you can say, text goes in a curve. And if it gets a little bunched up, you can either change your path or you can space it out. So I'm just going to space it. That's a little too much. You can space it out there and then you can move this around however you want so you can get some cool effects. Um, I'm also, also going to show you um, how you can use shapes. So grab your ellipse tool here and we're just going to drag out a circle and type some text on here. And we're going to say now it goes in a circle and some exclamation points to finish off the circle there. All right, so now you can see that it goes in a circle. If you want to get rid of the path, you can either click on a different layer or you can just click off the path if you want to get rid of the little line that's around there. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this uh, first quick tip. Uh, it can be very helpful so you don't have to position each letter in a curve or you warp it to heck. So I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe, rate, and comment, and I'll see you later. Thanks.